The way I see it, we have two choices. We wait until they get into position and launch a siege on their terms. Or, we rush out there, catch them unaware. Then we can escape to your ship at the palace. I can't abandon Mos Espa. These people are counting on me. Okay. Then, we'll both die in the name of honor. Din Djarin and Boba Fett after rescuing Grogu and reuniting him with the Jedi Order, Jaren continued his career as a bounty hunter, while Boba Fett went to Tatooine to establish his own Gotra, coming into conflict with the Pike Syndicate, a powerful faction of the Spice Cartel. After completing a mission on Glavis Ringworld, Jaren rejoined the survivors of his tribe at a new covert, where the armorer recounted the purge and reforged his Beska spear into an armor for Grogu. Jaren was challenged and dueled Paz Vishla, a descendant of Tar Vishla, for ownership of the Darksaber, and managed to defeat his rival. However, he was expelled from the tribe for removing his helmet, which was against the way of the Mandalore, the tribe's way of life. According to Creed, the only way for him to be redeemed was in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore, which he thought to be destroyed. After this, Jaren also made his way to Tatooine, where he was hired by Boba Fett to aid him in his war against the Pikes. Fett and Jaren fought together against the Pike forces during the battle for Mos Espa, and it was during the battle that Jaren was reunited with his foundling Grogu, who had decided to return to Jaren, instead of continuing his Jedi training. Eventually, the Pikes were defeated by the Fett Gotra, securing the Fett Gotra's position as the leading criminal organization of Tatooine, while Jaren and Grogu left the planet.